Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to enable two-factor authentication on Rocket League. The process is actually pretty simple, so let's just get started. So what you'll want to do is first come to a web browser, either on your phone or on a desktop, and you'll want to search for Epic Games. Once you search for it, you can just click on this top option here, Epic Games Store. Alright, so if this is the first time you've been on the Epic Games website, what you want to do is come to the top right corner. And for me right here, it shows my Epic username, but for you, it probably will say sign in. So you'll want to go ahead and sign in to the Epic Games account that is connected to Rocket League. You'll be able to sign in through Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, and a ton of other ways. So once you've signed in, you'll want to go ahead and click on your name and then click on account. When you do that, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this with some of your personal information on it. I have mine blurred out. But next, what you want to do is come to the side and click on Password and Security. Now just scroll down to the bottom of this page until you see the two-factor authentication section. So on Epic Games, you have three different ways that you can do 2FA. The first way here is by using a third-party authenticator app such as Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. And what you would do is you would connect your Epic Games to one of these authenticator apps. And whenever you try to sign into Epic Games, you would need to enter a code that is generated in that authenticator app. The second option is SMS authentication. And that basically is whenever you try to sign into Epic Games, uh, you'll be sent a text message with a code you need to enter. Email authentication is the exact same as SMS, except like it says in the name, you'll be sent a code to your email instead. I personally prefer SMS authentication. That's just the easiest for me. That's what I like the most. So if you want to turn on SMS authentication, you would just tick this on right here. And then there would be a pop-up asking for your phone number. And then you'd be given a code sent to your phone number. And then you need to enter that code, that code next. Once you do that, then you can refresh this page. And then you should see two-factor authentication turned on.